hey, this is Ivan. This message, if there is any message that I want to share with you in this um, short broadcast, will appeal to the person that has always felt that they were born for something more, for something bigger. And they feel like they're not fully expressing that. Hi, Sonia. They feel that they're not fully expressing that yet. And also that's the person who has that level of self-observation and they're committed to breaking through that and always heading in the direction of their own uh, fulfillment of their potential. Any person that's not interested in that, that video is not gonna appeal to them. But this is something that I've been contemplating this morning. You know, with this access to social media, with this easy access to this amazing network that we call the internet, everybody can show up at any time. They can do a video like this. They can write an article. They can show up in many different forms. But here is something that I've noticed that I've experienced a lot in my past. I still do experience sometimes. But I feel that a lot of people who are just like me, who are called for something bigger, for something more, they experience that and they allow this to affect them negatively by taking their power away. And here is what I'm talking about. When we see a role model, somebody who we admire, when we see them show up, when we see how they live their life, whether it's on Instagram, whether it's on, on Facebook, whether it's on another media, but when we see them, when we witness how they show up, let me ask you this, what is the feeling that you get? Do you get a feeling of elation and inspiration from who they are and how they show up? And then immediately after that, do you feel like gosh, I'm not like them and I will never be like them. And even if you don't articulate that in your mind, in your body, do you feel that way? I believe that many people feel that way. Exactly the person that's called to expand and to be something more and bigger, not only for themselves, but for other people. And I was like that for a very long time. And again, I still have these moments, but here is what I found out. With this ease of expression and access to social media these days, there will be a widening gap between the person who increasingly continues to feel incomplete because of these messages, not enough, and the person who finds a way to quickly alchemize these feelings. Because let me tell you something, even your role models, even the people who admire, even the people with amazingly huge audiences online, the people that their lives seem to be perfect, everybody, and I don't uh, use this term lightly, everybody has their own demon that they're fighting. Everybody has a piece of drama. Everybody feels emptiness somewhere. Everybody has moments where they don't feel enough, where they feel incomplete. Even your mentors, even your role models, even me, of course. And here's the thing. There will be these two big groups of people and the gap will be widening more and more and more. This is how I see it. Between these people who continue to feel more and more emptiness and not enoughness and incompleteness and these people who do feel that and they learn to use this as a fuel by quickly alchemizing it because you know what maybe your mentors maybe your role models show up to inspire you in moments where they feel that not enoughness, incompleteness, incompleteness and emptiness. And from compulsion to close this gap, 
and feel like they matter again. They show up and they inspire you. And maybe this forward motion of closing this gap is what a lot of people do. So my invitation to you, if you if you are accepting that, is to consider this. And and here is the other thing: as you consider this, please allow yourself, give yourself permission to not go out and seek ways to feel good all the time because like one of my mentors uh, calls this that's a form of sedation this video that you're watching now if it helps you any it is not intended to make you feel good and sedate you if anything this video is intended to maybe help you draw some conclusions on the basis of uh, reflection and introspection and some contemplation and if you're not feeling complete right now, go back to feeling that. Go back to feeling what you're feeling. Give yourself permission to feel that way. But then again, don't stay there too long. Struggle is okay. I mean, struggle is a part of the human condition. Everybody struggles. Everybody has their drama. The key is to not stay there too long. And as you look to close this gap between struggle and feeling more like you matter, this is how a lot of people become who they are. But when you see these beautiful pictures of your models traveling and living this amazing life, please realize that they struggle in their own way. And maybe that's why they're creating what they're creating because that's a part of their human condition. Does that make sense? Is that connecting with you what I'm saying? I am on this video because of my own human condition. Do you understand that? And that's okay. Again, the key is to feel that way. To feel the struggle, to feel the not enoughness, to feel the incompleteness and to realize that that's okay and that's a part of the human condition. And then to use that as a fuel to help yourself and to help others and not stay there. So this is the gap between these groups of people where it's most people will choose to stay there and they, they will use motivational stuff to sedate themselves and go from high to low and high to low. But this group of people, and I believe that you are in this group of people, if you're in my circle of influence, and I'm not saying that lightly, this is loaded with a lot of humility, what I'm saying right now, but I know the people who are around me. If you're in this circle, I believe that your natural tendency of your whatever drives you, your spirit, is to grow, to expand, to become better. So that my invitation is that give yourself permission to feel the way you feel. This is not designed to make you feel good. The only intention that I have is to maybe give you another idea, to contemplate and draw a conclusion maybe, if it helps you any. But realize that everybody has moments of emptiness. Everybody struggles. The key is to not struggle for way too long and to create that forward momentum, that forward movement that creates momentum. And that's how we find a way to express ourselves. Not from a place of perfection that doesn't exist but from a place of closing this gap. So these were the thoughts that I wanted to share with you. If they help you any, great. If they don't, that's great. But I felt like I was on, on purpose just for a little bit and it helped me. So love you very much. Remember who you are. It's time. Bye.